Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Why You Should Play series. And unfortunately for this video, we're going to actually have to change the title because the character that we're going to be covering today is none other than Danny Moonstar. Now, Danny Moonstar is one of the champions that have been dropped this year. One that was pretty much hyped up at the start, but we all know what hype actually does to a champion. Just look at my boy Zemo in the corner, man. Danny brought a interesting mechanic to the game, as well as is the very first mutant we've got in a while, and so the expectation as well as the hype was pretty much gonna be inevitable. Unfortunately, all that went to the wrong character, because after watching the Onslaught deep dive, oh my goodness. But back to Danny. This is the first time I'm actually changing a title of a video and hopefully it'll be the last and hopefully her buff does do her justice. But before we get too much into that, let's actually go over all of her abilities first and then later on discuss why nobody plays her. We died for our land. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna fight for? Ah! Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Each time a champion's combo meter passes a multiple of 10, she gains a non-stacking indefinite illusion, which is actually lost when she's knocked down. She also gains one of these each time she's inflicted with a disorient, fragility, or intimidate. She will then attempt to regain an illusion every 10 seconds if the illusion was consumed while suffering from one of these effects. Now when she blocks a basic attack, she consumes an illusion to then inflict a 150% falter passive, which lasts 2.5 seconds and is not affected by ability accuracy reduction and is actually paused during her special attacks. But on to her neural arrows and the max of these that she can have is 5 and each time the opponent misses an attack, she gains one of them. For each neural arrow that Danny has, the final hit of her special attacks will inflict a Neuroshock debuff, dealing a certain amount of energy damage over 8 seconds, which pretty much deals energy damage as well as prevents miss, and all of her Neural Arrows are actually removed at the end of her special attacks. Also while the opponent has a Neuroshock active, skill champions cannot heal, but onto her prowess effects and the max of these that she can have is 5, they are indefinite and have 15% potency, and if a prowess effect fails to trigger or are removed by the opponent, she then instead gains a neural arrow. She gains a prowess buff each time she inflicts a falter on the opponent, and an additional one each time she strikes a faltered opponent, and as a defender striking the opponent while she has an illusion will also grant her a prowess buff. Once she activates a special attack with neural arrows, she removes all personal prowess buffs and replaces them with prowess passives, and all of her personal prowess effects are removed at the end of the special attack. All of her personal prowess passives gain 80% potency for each neural arrow. But moving on to the special attacks. Special 1. The first hit inflicts a slow passive for 20 seconds, and just before the final hit actually connects, she gains an unblockable passive which lasts for 1 second for each neural arrow that she has, and the final hit will inflict a non-stacking energy vulnerability passive for 30 seconds. The special 2. Each hit grants a 10% impact passive which lasts for 5 seconds and this effect can also trigger through the block and the only thing that impact does is actually increase block penetration. If she activates the special 2 with 5 or more neural arrows, she actually inflicts a overload passive for 25 seconds which causes her hits to deal an additional burst of damage, and this is actually dealt as energy damage. The Special 3 The attack costs 6% less power, and costs an additional 6% less for each neural arrow, and after the attack, she gains 6 prowess buffs, and the limit of her personal prowess buffs will then be increased to 10 until the end of the next special attack. And onto her awakened ability, if a Neuroshock or Stun debuff is removed for any other reason than expiry, she has a 23.3 to 100% chance 
So inflict a neural shock passive dealing a certain amount of energy damage over 8 seconds, which is not affected by ability accuracy reduction. And when the opponent's health is at or below 10%, she inflicts a indefinite mod passive, which reduces the ability accuracy of regeneration, immortality, indestructible, as well as death immunity effects by 100%. And this is also not affected by ability accuracy reduction. And that is pretty much it for Danny Moonstar. It's pretty hard to understand. However, once you do play her, it'll all start to make sense. She's a character that's pretty hard to get the timing right. And also a character that deals a massive amount of damage via the SP2. She's pretty much just the standard mutant champion with some good numbers as well as some good utility with the ability to falter the opponent, as well as inflict slow, and also the ability to pretty much just cancel out any second life or any immortal abilities. But moving on to her outfit, I don't really have anything negative to say. The fit is clean, and for an X-Men character, we know the costume always looks goofy, but for her, it pretty much just looks really good. She does try to represent some of her culture in her outfit as well, and she has a knife in the back as well as a bow. Problem is she has a whole gun to the side and in the SP2 she pretty much pulls out a whole SMG. I don't know what's going on man. Nonetheless a pretty well designed character. In terms of appearance and I'd pretty much give this a 7 or 8 out of 10. But anyways on to the topic of why nobody plays her. Now Danny, I won't lie. She's a very good champion as well as has a lot going for her. Like I said before, she has a ton of utility. However, for the utility part, it's not consistent. Let's take the slow for example, which is pretty much used to counter evade as well as unstoppable effects. However, this thing does not last long at all and there's pretty much no way to refresh it or even pause it. It's there, but you pretty much have to be spamming SP1 after SP1 if you really need the slow that badly. And by doing this, you're pretty much just lengthening the fight that much more. And so the utility is there, but you won't be finishing fights fast enough. The falter passive also lasts for a short amount of time. However, one problem I do have, it's not necessarily with her, but more so who she was advertised to counter. She was pretty much advertised to be this amazing Hercules as well as Nick Fury counter. If Nick Fury throws a single special one, and if Hercules throws a SP1 as well, you're gonna be getting hit. And so even though she was advertised to be this amazing counter to both of those champions, in reality, you're pretty much better off bringing another champion because as soon as things start getting messy, she's not gonna be the best counter to any of those. Other than that, I think she's pretty fine. The SP2 damage does make up for it just a little bit. And even though the Falter does have increased ability accuracy, it can still get bypassed by a lot of things and is not 100% reliable. But this pretty much goes to all the falter passives in the game. It's pretty much just a shame that she was advertised to be this perfect counter to these problems. And to be fair, she is. However, she is not the best or the easiest option to bring. Outside of those matchups though, she's pretty cool. And the only problems after that is pretty much just her durations. Hopefully her buff does do her justice. Hopefully they give her increased duration and even methods to pause her passives. And after that, I think she'll be pretty good. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments who next I should make a video on. Make sure to join my Discord group as well. Link will be down in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Help! Where's the danger? Damn!